Yo, what's good, world? What's good? It's your boy Preezy back at it again. Today, I want to speak about the miseducation of Kyrie Irving. You know, Kyrie Irving's been in the news for a couple years for different antics or what other people perceive as antics as he's pulled. You know, whether it be leaving the Cavs, you know, wanting to do his own thing and going to the Celtics and then going to the Celtics and them kind of imploding or not doing as well the, the year that he got traded to them as they did previously. So a lot of people were talking about Kyrie. They got this perception of him, this view, which is right. It's everybody's right to have their opinion, but I just wanted to attack it from another side, from another angle. A lot of people look at someone like LeBron James as possibly the greatest player of all time. You know, he's top three by most accounts. So somebody would think that Kyrie would be happy to be under LeBron's tutelage would be happy to be on LeBron's team, but just because LeBron's one of the greatest players doesn't mean that Kyrie's not great in his own right. So that means that Kyrie may have his own ideas of fulfilling his own greatness that aren't connected to LeBron because Kyrie's his own man. LeBron's his own man too, but you know, so you can't fault him, LeBron, for leaving Miami. You can't fault LeBron for doing what he wanted to do because he's his own man for even leave, leaving D-Wade, who some people credit for teaching LeBron with being a winner. So it's kind of a similar situation if you really look at it. Like LeBron went his own way, so it's not nothing wrong with Kyrie going his own way. I can't speak to the flat earth comments or something, you know, or the other things he does, you know, because he does do some questionable things. He does have some questionable quotes. He's not perfect, you know, none of us all. But I think that a lot of people attack him for want to be his own man and I think more people should respect that they should respect the fact that he's man enough he has the confidence in himself he has a belief in himself to put himself away from LeBron somebody who you're guaranteed to damn near go to the finals with to do his own thing and that's similar to people like Kobe like Kyrie's from the class of Kobe Kobe was doing the same thing with Shaq so I just think that that's a microcosm of life that we can all take from from Kyrie you know you can have people that you're under their tutelage that you know, they may want you to play the sun, which wasn't made to play the sun. And we all gotta grow, we all gotta progress at our own time in life, and we all had the right to do that. So I don't think we should vilify anybody for wanting to forge their own path, wanting to blaze their own trail, and embark on their own, or even partner with somebody else like Durant, because him and Durant view each other as some um, contemporaries, peers, partners, as opposed to a little brother, big brother situation. You know, it's nothing wrong with having a big brother, but when you're a grown man, you want to be your own man, so you would rather sometimes deal with people that look at you as a peer and a contemporary and an equal rather than a subordinate or rather than somebody that's taking, you know, tutelage, that's under their tutelage. So. so that's just something I wanted to speak about real quick, the miseducation of Kyrie Irving. But if you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share the video, and click the notification bell so you can receive more inspirational, entertaining, and informative content. But it's your boy Preezy. Peace.